What's up guys, Hybrid Mongoose here, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. And today is a little bit of a different video. I'm actually going to be talking about why I have decided to become basically a free-to-play player for Pokemon Go, with a couple exceptions. Um, obviously, GoFest, if I'm going to go to GoFest, usually I throw down $100 on Pokecoins just to make sure I have everything I need for GoFest for that week, etc. while I'm in Chicago, or maybe it'll be in a different place this year. But that's one of the exceptions that I will make, you know, for spending money. Now, previous to this, uh, if there was an event that actually was going on that I, I was trying to get, you know, a shiny of, I would keep throwing money at it until I actually got until I felt like I wanted to give up or whatever, right? So I'd throw, oh, I, I ran out of incubators. I'd throw another $20, I'd, I, you know, things like that. So my problem with the way that Pokemon Go has been going recently is because of the fact that everything seems more so greedy and more so like a cash grab from Niantic than other events. And let me explain. For instance, the Adventure Week, right? Right before GoFest this year, we had Adventure Week and a lot of, you know, getting a shiny Onyx was mainly based off of doing field research and you had to find find the Pokestops with the specific type of field research. And yes, you could find out shiny Onyx in the wild, but um, your best chance was to go through field research and try to find, you know, uh, the Onyxes that way. And I did so, so many, so many field research to get that. But, it didn't actually make me use a lot of money really quickly because I, you know, it, it felt like a lot of work. I had to go find the Pokestops. I had to go out and actually do what I needed to do for the Pokestops and then actually try to get the Shiny Onyx, which is what I was mainly going after. And it felt like, you know, some people were getting really lucky. I, during that time, I actually saw a lot of people on Twitter getting like, <laughs> like, no joke, I'm here doing this for hours upon hours and not getting one and then i see someone with like six shiny onyx on twitter like what is what is this life what is rng you know so this is just one example of how i felt like okay this this event seems fair i'm not spending a lot of money i am spending a lot of time going out to these pokestops and and gathering what i need and trying to go for the shiny onyx the problem <laughs> with the current events that are now happening now, if you look at something like Adventure Week and you look at something like the 7K Regional Shiny event, it is vastly different in terms of how much money you can actually use. I mean, I, I kid you not, the, the seven kilometer Shiny Regional event, I probably spent $40 within a week. That's a lot of money to just throw at the game for incubators because you keep trying to continually get those Pokemon or get a shiny regional. I ended up getting a shiny Kangaskhan, but as you guys have seen in previous videos, you know that I was not happy with that event. And the only thing that kept me from not spending more money was seeing all of the people reporting online and on Twitter saying like, hey, I've done 125 eggs. I've hatched 125 eggs and still no shiny regional. I've hatched 200 eggs and no shiny regional. And come to find out, if you see my previous video with beat em ups reacting to that, they actually changed the rates over the weekend, which is predominantly when I can play. So between that and a couple other events, I have gotten to the point where I don't believe that Niantic deserves my money for this game any longer for most things. Now, the second thing that I actually will say that I will I will not be a free to play player on is events like the Reggie Gigas event. I actually thought that was worth the $8 mission fee. I do have some gripes with how it was all set up because I did have a Google opinion rewards and I did have enough, pretty much enough money to, to buy the ticket. I think I was off by maybe like $2. And for some reason it only let me use half the money so i got it for half off but my also other concern was is why couldn't we use pokey coins i had enough pokey coins at that time to actually just go ahead and buy that uh so that that really it just made me seem lately niantic's been seeming very very greedy to me now i will say i do love this game i still am playing daily and i'm still doing the things like that i know i have been slowed down on the channel in terms of content for Pokemon Go, but that's going to change soon. I'm going to do my own thing. I have a couple ideas that are kind of 
different. Um, for, for instance, I actually want to do a series called Paint the Town Red. I am Team Valor. And uh, because I'm free to play, I need those Poke Coins. So when I say Paint the Town Red, I mean go to Mount Clemens and take over all the gyms. And I've had ideas like that before in the past, but it's like, you know what? I don't, I've gotten to the point where I just don't care about the events so much. I mean, it, I mean, I do have to say that the community day event that's coming up is really cool. And it's like two days and everything. That's going to be really awesome. Don't get me wrong. That's going to be really cool. It's just a lot of the events that are going on during the week. Don't really, they don't do anything for me anymore. I, I kind of just go, okay. I mean, even this past raid day event where you could actually get shiny, you know, war turtle or shiny charmeleon and whatever. It's still like, I already have that. <laughs> it is recycled content. I'm not going to be all going out and trying to get <laughs> like, like I have gotten to the point where I still love this game. Don't get me wrong, but it's going to take a lot more than that to get me out there and make me want to play and like spend my time and effort and money on this. Um, because you know, it's winter time in Michigan and it is not warm. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, you know, if you're playing Pokemon go during this time, it's a lot of driving. So it's, I'd just be playing honest with you. It's a lot of driving. And if I go to Mount Clemens to play, I'm going to be driving a lot, you know, and that is gas. So if it's, if it's something I already have, I'm not tempted to go out there and, and get it. And then this is leads me to another thing of a reason why I become more of a free to play players, because like the events don't feel special anymore to me almost none of them do uh and it's gotten to the point where i think they kind of did the opposite of what they were intending to do back in the day you know there would be breaks in between content i don't know if you guys remember when community days first started to appear it was like a breath of fresh air it was like yes we needed community days we needed something that would you know give us something to do monthly and this this was a huge idea well now they see Nine tickets just gone gotten so so greedy that they have non-stop events. And does anybody know what normal spawns are anymore? Like nobody knows what normal spawns are anymore because they will literally not stop with the events. Now there's a big difference between it's like right before GoFest. Ever since GoFest, we always thought it was going to stop because usually there were breaks in content. But since GoFest, it has been nonstop this entire time. There's always an event going on. And what that actually does to me is it makes me not care about the events so much anymore because it's like back in the day, there wouldn't be events. And if something like, oh, a Larvitar, you'd be excited to see a Larvitar and go, oh, man, I got to get that. Now it's like every other week they're changing what's spawning. There's a rock event this week. There's a, next week there'll be something else. And it's just like, now it's like, well, I'll get it when I get it. I don't even care. You know, it's like, it's like they've evented us so much that a lot of the, a lot of the trainers now don't care. And I'm not the only one. Okay. I know that I'm not the only one that thinks this way now because, um, I've talked to my friends. Uh, I've talked to a couple of my friends. Some of my friends think the game is completely dead. <laughs> completely dead. I don't think the game is dead. I just think that, you know, they need to back off on, on the events way back. There should be a community day every month and then maybe uh, an event that lasts a week per month. There should be a two-week span where there's just regular spawns again. I mean, you, you, people don't have unlimited money. And back in the day, I would partake in every single thing that Niantic would put out. They put out this event. I'd be, oh, I got to do that. They put out this event. Yep, yeah, I got to do that. I would be on top of it. Every event I would cover. And you guys notice now that I haven't been covering a lot of these events because I don't have unlimited money, number one. I can't just go out there and play every day. It, there is a limit to how much I can actually do. And it just got to the point where I just like was just like, wow, there's so many events going on. And it actually kind of killed the game for me. It, it made me not want to play as much. I did take a long break from the game as well because I was getting a little too addicted to the game. And I know you guys have seen that video as well. But now it's actually being free to play is actually made me enjoy the game a lot more. And I'll be honest, I actually enjoying going out and actually taking over these gyms and going enjoying going out and doing my daily stuff because i have to it's different because now i'm like well no i gotta save up as much coins as i want 
I mean, there were times when I used to play, I didn't care about the gym so much. And I know people are thinking like, hey, that's free coins, you know? And I would just, I would just like, eh, I'll just buy coins, it's fine. You know, like I wouldn't care as much. But now uh, my, my my mentality has completely changed. Um, I'm definitely gonna be covering, go, you know, community day next week and all that. But, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys feel the same way about Niantic, of course, for GoFest, I'm going to pay money. If they have another event that's like Reggie Gigas or something like that, I'm going to pay money. But I don't think there's another event on that they can make that would make me buy a bunch of Pokebot. Like, there's, I don't think it exists. <laughs> Especially because Shinies used to be an incentive to go out there and do it. But now it's like, once, we, once you start transferring Shinies, you start to realize that these are not as special as they once were. Or at least they don't feel as special as they once were to me. So, anyway guys, I'd like to, uh, like, honestly, I'd like to see what you guys think in the comments below. Because I know I'm not the only one that has, like, at least slowed down on playing this game. Um, I had a lot of friends that were super hardcore into this game and uh are like it's dead the game's dead <laughs> and i'm like whoa that's you know it's not dead uh but you know i, I want to know what you guys think in the comments below um i like i said i'm gonna come out with more content i'm gonna start that series where i paint the town red which is taking over gyms and i think that's gonna be a lot of fun um i also want to bring pvp back to the channel as well because pvp was something that i'm actually really good at and i just kind of just stopped and i'm sorry about that guys if you're into the pvp content don't worry it's coming back and uh you know number three i want to do my own thing i want to do my own vlogs and i have i've had something special planned that's different for the longest time and i still have to do it so anyway that is that's gonna do it for the video guys if you enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next one later